Okay, so we've talked about the most traditional classroom. We've talked about the tech in the classroom model with the teacher guiding the activities. Now let's come here to the middle. This idea is where we start to really see two lanes of traffic. We see the teacher face-to-face -face lane, and then we see the digital and the online framework or environment for student use. This is where you start to really get into the benefits that technology can provide. The teacher still does the in-classroom component and that group space component, and it is key and critical. But also, we now have students that have access to resources that are digital, and it's not just practice, it's not just communication, it's not just games, it's actually instructional. So whether it is videos that are Khan Academy, whether it's videos that are made by the teacher that have interaction built in using a tool like Edpuzzle, whether it is specific assigned problems in an online practice or formative assessment program like Delta Math, you actually have instruction that is happening here. Additionally, things that we may used to do in the classroom space are moved over here into the group space. Instead of watching the video from the History Channel or from PBS that we want the kids to view, instead of viewing that in class together, we take that clip and we move it online, and now we discuss it or do an activity based on that in the classroom. So this digital environment becomes critical and crucial to the in-person environment, but both of these things are still very much in play. A lot of times we get in and call this the blended classroom, the digital classroom in its traditional definition, or even a flipped classroom. And the other thing about this, whereas we traditionally think of face-to-face -face in the classroom and we think of digital outside the classroom, both of these lanes can be happening at once because in the in flip classroom or even in any sort of a classroom I can have this digital setup as a station over here or as a learning option on a menu over here and face to face small group instruction going on over here when we start talking about differentiation we're talking about using the digital and the face to face as two parts of the same whole differentiating instruction for students. Now, some of you say, wait a minute, did I hear you say stations or centers? And the answer is yes. Because you say, well, isn't that kind of a third grade thing? Yes, because all really great teaching and learning, they already figured that out in third grade. All of those things that we think of as elementary activities are great teaching methods as we move forward because what we're doing is we're allowing these students some independence under guidance in a center or in an off-site digital assignment. But we're bringing it all back together in this face-to-face -face environment, that same group space. So whether I'm using centers whether I'm using a choice menu of what the student can do, whether it's for a choice menu for instruction or whether it's a choice menu for assessment even, now I can really utilize the leverage that digital gives me to give students choice, to give students opportunity and allow me to level my instruction so that I can spend my face-to-face -face time, some with everybody, but focus my energy on that neediest of learners and making sure those learners get exactly from me what they need. Not every kid needs to sit through a lecture. Sometimes part of that lecture can go off in the digital space where I can talk one-on-one -on -one or in small groups with other students. So that's this idea of having partial face-to-face, -face, partial online component. Okay, let's go to the next step.